back to News Talk. We are learning with McCurden on this Friday, and we're talking about the Army cutworm right now, the term, the moth. Yes. Um, because you've been talking about it too. It, it's, it's the talk of the day right it now. It is really the last <laughs> couple of weeks. A yeah. lot of people have been asking questions. Yeah. So tell us about it. Yeah. So the Army cutworm moth is actually the adult of an Army cutworm caterpillar. Mm -hmm. That caterpillar is primarily going to be found in our agricultural crops. It really prefers to feed on things like wheat, canola, and alfalfa. Mm -hmm. um, but this time of year, those caterpillars turn into the moths and so they typically all hatch within a two to three week period and so you see hundreds and hundreds of these moths typically emerge at one time and begin their westward migration for the summer. Yeah, people are seeing them right now. Some people are seeing a lot of them right now. Yes. Now there is a distinguished mark that you can tell if they are the army cutworms, right? Yeah, so the color of the moth itself is not a great way to identify it. The female moths are typically more gray, the male moths are typically more brown, mm -hmm. but the patterns that you see on the back of the wings are actually gonna be what identify this moth. On each side of the wing, typically you're gonna see a round circular-ish spot above a larger kidney-shaped spot right below that there. Mm -hmm. And you'll see those spots on each side of the wing, so you'll typically have two round spots mm -hmm. and two kidney-shaped spots that are gonna be on the back side of the wings of that moth. Now we know a lot of people are having issues with them right now, like having so many of them. Yes. What can we do? So really we just need to be patient as these moths are gonna move through mm -hmm. our area and into Colorado for the summer. Mm -hmm. um, if you wanna reduce the numbers around your house, there's lots of things you can do. You can turn off lights at night so that your house isn't as well lit up. If you want to leave exterior lights on, replacing those white light bulbs with uh, a yellow light bulb is going to help reduce the number of insects that are attracted to it as well. Mm -hmm. And really we don't want to try to kill the moth itself because these moths are migrating through. So even though you may kill the ones at your house any given point in time, you're typically going to just have those moths replace the next night with moths that were from the east <laughs> traveling to the west. <laughs> They're just uh, making a stop basically. Basically, <laughs> yes. Okay, so when, you, when are they going to move on? So typically by the first few days of summer, of these moths are gone. Typically they start their migration at the beginning of May and within a few weeks are gone and spend the summer in Colorado. These mm -hmm. moths will then return as mature adults in the fall and those female moths will typically lay between one to three thousand eggs in the soil around our agricultural crops, around that wheat, uh, alfalfa, and canola. Is there any specific reason why some people are seeing more than others right now? So these, the number of moths vary every year and it really depends on a variety of factors including environmental conditions mm -hmm. and the number of natural enemies that these moths occur when they're mm -hmm. in caterpillars. Yeah. So drier winters often means there's going to be less fungal activity in the soil, which then reduces the number of caterpillars that die out in the winter months. Yeah, I can understand that. Thank you, Matt. It's been You're really welcome. dry around here lately. It has. We'll see you next Friday. Look forward to All it. All right, and we'll be right back with Mr. Food. KWC.